That's it? You don't think this is bad? No. <laughs> Thank God. The sooner you can find out what you can control, the sooner conflict is going to be released from your day. So you have to understand that this is a value and a principle that you have to go through. And by the way, I'm the first, I'm the first one of this, because I made a lot, I'm, I'm the first one to tell this to myself. I'm, I'm giving this advice to me. So don't think I'm coming up here because my life has been perfect. Babe, you are awesome, you are amazing. So, and I always just say, Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jada. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. So, what's gonna keep you grounded on building a million point base shop, not just for 22, but to 23, 24, 25, and on, is values and principles and understanding this process called conflict management. I think one of the biggest skills that Patrick and PHP teaches us all is this issue right here, is conflict management and processing issues. If you learn how to master conflict management and processing issues, guess what? You're gonna fly by everybody. How many guys have gotten to an argument with your wife, your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend? I look good on Zoom, you guys are having like good Zoom? Yeah, good Zoom. Look at Zoom, as soon as Zoom's off, you're back to an argument. Yeah. Or is that just Sheena and I? Right? <laughs> it's like, like, like you can tell, you can tell like there's tension because one, one of you is on the camera and the other one's kind of off the camera because they're like pouting at each other. <laughs> you go on camera, not me. You report the numbers. <laughs> okay, just so want to let you guys know, it's just not you, it's also Sheena and I. We go, we go through these issues as well. So when you're looking at this uh, area, it, by the way, argument's good. Why, why, why is arguing good? Good, good right? Because it's, it's obvious that you care, right? It's obvious that you care about winning, that you care about progression, you care about competition, that you care about the business, okay? So there's nothing wrong with arguing. It's just that when it persists all day, three days, four days, and you still sleep on the couch, it's not good, okay? And so one of the areas I think that is underutilized and, and that taught, about, taught upon is this area of conflict resolution. So, Chris, uh, next slide. Okay, so all truth goes through three stages. Number one, you're ridiculed. So you're gonna get ridiculed. I remember leaving the military and all the Marines were laughing at me and saying, so Paula, all you know how to do is be a Marine. All you know how to do is go on deployments. All you know how to do is fix helicopters, shoot machine guns off the side of helicopters of Dorgan and crew chief. Come back into the base. We'll see you in 30 days after you get your little insurance thing off the ground and you leave the military, you're gonna come back. Come back to daddy. His name was Gunnery Sergeant Penberthy. And uh, I made a point that every 30 days, uh, I'd send my full eight paychecks, <laughs> uh, commissions via the fax machines to remind him I'm not coming back to the base. Okay? <laughs> I, I said fax machines. How many of you guys know what a fax machine is? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Welch, all the damn, you know, Gen Z, this TikTok generals, what's the fax? Did you just curse on stage? <laughs> Did you just fax yourself? <laughs> no, I just fax. Facsimile machine. Anyway, I'll move along. But anyway, first stage, you're going to get laughed at. What did you do? You got involved in this insurance thing. Who buys life insurance anyway? And then second phase, you're gonna go through this phase called violent opposition. Like people are mad at you, like yo, you're not gonna be invited to this party anymore because every time you get around our family, all you do is talk about life insurance. All you do is talk about entrepreneurship. All you talk about is PHP. Can't come to the party, right? It's violent opposition it's to the point where some of you, like I had violent opposition like you couldn't believe because exes started coming after me because we got these beautiful social media graphics going from PHP and next thing you know, it's circulated to the world and it gets to an ex. Hey, did you hear that Matt and Sheena got together? Send it to the ex. Next thing you know, what do I get? You've been served. <laughs> served what? I got custody of the kids. Right? Trying to flip the tables on me. Nasty. Anyway, I won't go to too much details. When we have cigars, maybe we'll talk a little bit more about it. Listen guys, I wish I could tell you, you're not gonna be violently opposed. But does it say some truth goes through all stages? It goes through all truth, all truth, all truth. You need to change the PowerPoint. All truth goes through, through these three phases. Some of you guys are believers in this room, yes? Did your savior go through some truth? And did God prevent them from that pain? 
Okay, it was part of the process. So you have to understand that this is a value and a principle that you have to go through. And again, we wish we can prevent this from happening to you, but you gotta go through it. Because then number three comes through, and then you're accepted as self-evident. George, was the last time somebody at the, the former company reached out to you and gave you a hard time? Yeah. Can't remember. Multi-millionaire today. How much in savings? Two million dollars in savings. Could barely afford a lawyer to complain that uh, three emails cost him $1,200 in legal fees. Now he's got $2 million in savings. How's that for a turnaround? What happens if George quit? What happens if George bowed down? What happens if George said, yeah, you're a right company. Let me just go through this fine. You find me and I'm going to quit PHP. What would happen to his life? He wouldn't be accepted as self-evident. His truth wouldn't be today's truth. He'd be, he'd be living a lie. And for the rest of his life, George would be like wondering, what happens if I stuck it through? Think about that real quick. What happens if you don't stick it through? All, all this pressure from the world is gonna start pushing up on you. Through every decision you're gonna make because you want to live your truth. You wanna live out the dream that God has given you, the place in your heart. You, and here's the thing too as well, don't think that somebody else is supposed to decipher God's dream for you. That's why God gave it to who? You, you're the one supposed to decipher it, not somebody else. So I, I did a video on this, the one skill that every millionaire master in terms of mastering this process. I'll share with you these five that's in the video. I'll share you another five that's not on the video. But number one, stay big picture focused, tendency to overreact. What's your big picture in 22? Running A, main point base shot. Forgive quickly, don't create or wake up an enemy. Number three, avoid the blame game. Victims don't win, stay in the hunt, guys. Number four, have a short list. Short list of what? Of who can help you. So my wife is just talking about people that can help you, nanny, uh, construction workers, plumber, internet guy, who can help you because you need to resolve that conflict. Uh, MSM, all MSM knows is that what's my biggest enemy? Te <laughs> technology, right? As soon as technology or Zoom doesn't do something, it, I'm like, I get in this, in this weird funk. Like, <laughs> Robin, Karen, Jeanette, who's on the line? Who's watching this? Who's watching me melt down right now? Fix a damn Zoom. And they're all laughing, they're all recording me. <laughs> but thank God for the team, right? But have a short list of who can readily help you. Embrace the moment. Remember, things don't happen to you, they happen. That's right, man, because you're in the worst position, you are in the best position. Okay, here's the other five that was not on the video. Number six, manage expectations up front. Sheena, Sheena and I were dating, and I was going through a bunch of stuff. And I said, hey, babe, let's go to lunch. I need to explain to you my life because, man, I'm thinking to myself, I got a good, I got a good girl here, man. I don't want to lose her. And I, did the, I, I risked losing her by helping her understand the funk I was going through. I remember this Italian restaurant. Remember that, babe? Was it the Italian spot? And they had one of those placemats with like a big white paper that they, they, they just clean off every time there's like paper cloth, whatever you want to call it. But I was drawing on all my crap. <laughs> I had a pen. Okay, this is the area of my life. This is crap. Another area of my life. This is crap. This is good. Right? This, hey, babe, listen. I'm going through all this stuff right now. You haven't known about it. Boom, boom, boom. I got three major ears here. And damn, you know? <sighs> I hope you stick around. I feel bad about this stuff, that you're dating a guy with all this, I don't know what you call it, baggage and challenges and conflict. You know what she said? Oh, shoot, is that it? That's it? You don't think this is bad? No. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> oh, she doesn't think this is bad. I think it's bad, but she doesn't think it's bad. Praise the Lord, right? But now, if it comes up in an argument, who's held accountable? She accepted me, right? And vice versa, she explains to me her stuff, I accept her too as well. So you gotta manage your expectations up front. Number seven, verbalize and reestablish your non-negotiables. Have you figured out what that stuff is? For example, with Sheena, there's certain non-negotiables to make sure in a public situation, I wanna make sure my wife constantly feels safe with me. Okay, when I, go, when I go travel, I don't travel by myself. I got Ivan with me and he and I sleep together in the same room, <laughs> right? He doesn't have his room, I don't have my room, why? You just never know what happens when I travel. 
who, who feels safe? My wife, right? Who feels safer? Me. Who, who stays up all night because Ivan keeps snoring? Me. <laughs> right, Chris Martinez? <laughs> the roomies right now. But he, he's, he's my roommate. I'm, I'm gonna travel by myself. Okay, there's certain non-negotiables. There's certain things I don't want to violate. Stay true to your vision. People are gonna constantly challenge you to lower your standards. You have to assume that in 2022, if you're gonna run a million point base shop, you've got to assume you're going to be annoying. Why? Because here's the standard. You, you saw what Rodolfo just did with the standards, did, did you not? Did you see what, what, what the Musgroves were willing to do to go from 167 in income to 372 in income? Do you think they lowered their standards or increased their standards? He got a chip on his shoulder. He got a chip on his shoulder because he thought I doubted him. It's part of the way he's wired. Put a chip on your shoulder because I'm not willing to lower my standards. I remember one time we were at uh, your, your, uh, your uh, office and we were comparing hierarchies. We were, we were at, they were outside of the patio, right? So Musk and I, we got, like, we got into it in front of his team. Like, bro, we, you, you challenge my ability to build? You don't, you don't, you don't, tr you don't trust my judgment? By the way, I'm, t I'm telling the PG-13 version of it. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, and he responded back because he wasn't getting bullied either. Boom, we're at a standstill. All right, well, we're going to see that. At that point, he had a choice to make to either prove me right or prove me wrong. And he proved me wrong. Thank God, right? Uh, control, but here's the thing too as well. Control what you can control. You think when Chris and Vecina Hart relocated from, uh, from California to the East Coast to work with the Bill Corman and the opportunity there in the DMV area, you think there wasn't a lot of conflict when they moved? Of course, but they decided to control what they could control. Not everything is supposed to be under your control. There's certain things you can control and there's certain things you can't. The sooner you can find out what you can control, the sooner conflict is going to be released from your day. Okay, but, but, but I, I can't do, do, do any value there. I've got no value here. I've got, I, I can't do that, but I can do this. Okay, I'm going to take care of that. So everything I'm else is going to delegate. The sooner you can do that, instead of trying to do everything and trying to encompass everything, you're gonna relieve a lot of stress and unnecessary anxiety. And last but not least, victories and cash flow solves a lot of problems. And the reason why these two pictures up there is because I don't know who took this picture. I think it was one of the twins. Sheena and I are in an argument and I'm apologizing to her. So your team necessarily doesn't follow what you do. I think one of my daughters took this picture and it's, Pop, you guys look so cute together. Why? Because I'm apologizing to Sheena. We got into a big argument and she gave me this look. And by, I just want to tell you, let you guys know, I love it when she looks at me like this. Damn! <laughs> when Sheena looks at me like this, <laughs> I'll go with that freaking wall. Ladies, listen. I want to give you some encouragement. Your husbands need a lot of your positive affirmation. Uh, as much as you think that men are this rough and tough type deal, we're not. Sometimes the most talented of us, the most strong of us, we're the most sensitive, deep down inside. We're just, we're just hiding it, okay? But men, you gotta do your part too as well. You gotta do your part in making sure you take care of your wife. And I realized that through marriage and through business and just dealing with members of the opposite sex, our ladies are very fragile. The smallest things you can say to them can shatter them and like, like, a, like a coffee mug, you drop it, it's gonna shatter, and you try to glue it back together, but guess what, it doesn't necessarily take the original shape that original was, the original was in. So you gotta be careful of those relations. You gotta be careful of your conflict. You gotta be careful about your arguments, that you don't say things. And by the way, I'm the first, I'm the first one of this, because I made a lot, I'm, I'm the first one to tell this to myself. I'm, I'm giving this advice to me. So don't think I'm coming up here because my life has been perfect. There's been, I think Sheena and I, in the, thir the third week of our marriage, I think all my clothes were down the stairs. <laughs> No, it's my house. Because <laughs> I screwed up, not her. I'm, I'm being as transparent as real with you. I think she and I have been through World War III, IV, V, and VI. We were like veterans of that or something like that. But here was our non-negotiable. I ain't leaving you. I love you. Nothing's getting me between us. We're going to do this together. I want you to be safe with me. I don't want you to feel anxious with me. The last thing I want you to worry about is me diverting attention from what we're doing here together.
So can we go out and build this damn thing already? So with that being said, guys, can you build a million point base shop in 2022? Yeah. Let's get it done. With that being said, guys, my time. Rodolfo, Rodolfo babe. So you have been asking for a great. Babe, you are awesome. You are amazing. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.